Sometimes I feel like I just need a moment, an afternoon to catch my breath, think about my life. I often come here to Sands Point Preserve, a place where I can just sit and relax and think and pray. I look inside myself and I ask myself, am I really living the life that Jesus has called me to live? Or am I just faking it? I realize that it's time to be honest with God. It's time to be honest with myself. It's time to take off the mask. You see, I, like most of you, am good at wearing the mask. In fact, I'm probably too good at it. I've learned throughout my whole life to hide the struggles that I have, to keep my secrets buried where nobody can know about them. Our society practically demands that we do this. I mean, if you want to succeed in any sort of field, you have to give people what they want from you. You might have to hide and veil some of the things from your past or some of the things from your life that are dark, that people don't want to deal with. You know, even at church, a place that's supposed to be loving and compassionate and forgiving, it's so easy to wear this mask, but we hide who we really are from other people, maybe even from God. And why do we do this? Maybe we're just afraid of exposure, that people will find out some of the secret things that we've done. Or maybe it's just that we want people to keep thinking that we're strong and, and we're independent and we have it together. I've had some conversations that really surprise me. People will say, well, you must not know what it's like to struggle with this or that because you're such a strong leader and you're always up in front of the church smiling and singing happy worship songs. Or they'll say to me, you don't know what it's like to be in my shoes because you don't have the same sins as I do. You're a leader and I don't really know what to tell them. You see, the truth is, I have secrets too. I have dark parts of my story that I've never told any of you. I, I have sins that I struggle with. I have fears. I have doubts. I don't have it together. I have secrets too. That's why I've come here today. I'm here at Sands Point Preserve because this place reminds me of the commitment that I've made. A commitment to be honest about my secrets. Honest with God, honest with other people, and honest with myself. See, right on this beach, right here on this wall, when I was growing up, I had countless conversations with some of my friends about what it means to be authentic, what it means to be real, what it means to stop hiding our secrets from God and from each other and to take off this mask of pretense that ultimately leads to harm and sadness. You know, I'd be misleading you and pretending if I didn't tell you that I still struggle with secrets now. You know, just because I sat down here with a few friends a few years ago and talked about my secrets doesn't mean that they're completely healed and gone out of my life and that I'm completely transparent. No, the truth is I still play the game. I still wear the mask. But by God's grace, I press on to be honest about my secrets. I press on to become more like Christ. So what about you? Do you have secrets? Stuff in your life that you've never really been honest about with yourself? 
stuff in your life that you've maybe never prayed about or given to God, stuff from your past that you'd rather just keep in the dark and not pull it out again, stuff that maybe you're ashamed to bring to Jesus or to submit into his care. I don't know about you, but I think it's time to take off the mask.